Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today we're talking about something different. The brand, I'm sure, is something that you are very familiar with, but the pen, I don't know how many people actually have seen these pens. Now, this one, you probably know, this is the big crystal ballpoint pen. They're cheap, they are everywhere, they last forever. I don't think I've ever finished a, uh, a refill on one of these, and um, if you have finished a refill on one of these pens, let me know, because I think that's pretty rare. These pens last absolutely forever and I think they are very popular and um, my experience has just been that if you leave them on your desk for too long and you turn away, when you, when you turn back they tend to be gone. So they tend to disappear. They are just that popular. Really great pens. Now, Bic also makes fountain pens and a friend of mine actually travels quite a bit for work and he spends a lot of time in Kenya actually and if he picked up one of these uh, pens for me this is a big easy click fountain pen now i don't know about the easy click i don't, I don't know what part of it is clicking but in any case it's a fountain pen um, we are going to have a closer look at this i'm not going to unbox this one because i actually have one uh, this lovely green one that's already open uh, but we're going to ink it up and we'll do a writing sample we'll talk about the pros and the cons and I'll show you the uh, sort of the filling mechanism or you know, the way it, it, it uses um, cartridges but it's got a very interesting mechanism and uh, very unique I think so we'll talk about what's different about the spin and whether it's worth getting one they are quite cheap I think I think they went for around a dollar fifty US maybe um, around there, definitely not two dollars even so really cheap but really unique and um, I, I kind of like it so let's head over to the paper let's have a closer look at and today I'm sharing my workspace with my cat Cosmo and we just hope that Cosmo's tail is going to stay out of the way but uh, I can't uh, move him from the desk it's one of those things when you have a cat uh, you just have to get used to sharing the space and we'll just we'll just do that today okay let's start by having a closer look at the uh, packaging on this one so it says big easy click fountain pen and it says over there easy fast and cleaner refill system well I'm not so sure about that but we'll, we'll have a look and it also indicates that it's uh, for right or left-handed people so that's nice to know and medium point so very interesting packaging here and just the normal standard stuff at the back I guess so let's have a closer look at it so I've got the screen one here oh. Cosmo your tail is in the way okay first look it's it's a nice looking pen the thing that's probably the most recognizable would be the clip right here we we compare it with the clip on the ballpoint pen that's probably the most recognizable part of the big and there we go so we uncap this pen it is a snap cap It doesn't sound like it doesn't have a very loud uh, clicking sound when we close the clap cap but it does close properly and it is very secure no problem there so the cap itself like I say very familiar actually but what's interesting is we have this uh, this opening in the clip and my guess would be that would allow for a lanyard or something and so you would theoretically be able to you know put a string or a lanyard through there and hang this around your neck if you're working you know in the office and you don't want to leave your pen behind and maybe with these kind of pens maybe you don't want to leave them lying around i don't know but um other than that well different colors i suppose that these come in if we can talk about the color for a second i, I really like this green um but um as you can see this is more and more of a of a pink this would be pink on the section and the, the cap would be like a trans uh, transparent pink and it's the same with the green one uh, 
green, like a two-tone green uh, barrel there, body, and the cap translucent. And also what's interesting, the, the cap doesn't, I mean, normally we would say that the, oh, well, this is the section, right? Here we are looking at the section and the cap does not uh, cover the section, um, which is interesting. And um, I don't know if any other of my pens uh, look like this, but anyway, the section is not covered by the cap and the section has rubber grips. Those are rubber grips and it's it's quite decent i mean i'm not crazy about these kinds of facets or grips on a pen i don't like rubber grips generally because over time the rubber it hardens and then it becomes brittle and you know then the pen becomes useless so that's my only problem with rubber grips i mean they they're lovely to use but they not it's not very practical if it's a pen that you really want to keep right um but it's okay, and, and the facet, I mean, it reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Lamy Safari, right, with the, with the facets, but these are very soft facets, very subtle, you know, if, if you're not going to grip the pen exactly like that, it's not going to be an issue at all, so no problem there. So, so it's the first very interesting thing, the section not being covered by the cap, and if we uncap the pen, we have... The nib there this is a medium nib and we have a that's quite nice and we have the big emblem or logo on the nib and it's a very standard looking nib but also pretty unique and quite lovely these by the way are rubber that's rubber that's rubber, that's rubber. So it, it helps the pen to um, close very securely and, and I think probably airtight as well so that it won't dry out so, so easily. And I can say that I, I've used this pen before and um, even if you don't use it for an extensive period of time, I think even for a month or two, it didn't dry out. So it definitely works. Now, what's very interesting and I think very unique about the spin is the um, the cartridge and, and the mechanism. Now, we do see that some of the you know the plastic there doesn't line up perfectly, so that that would be sort of a drawback in terms of the bolt quality. This it could be a little better, but you know for a one and a half dollar pin. Um, that's maybe maybe that's okay so there are there are grips on the barrel and so what you do is you pull this back and it opens up like that to reveal a place for the cartridge the drawback of course is you can't use a converter you can only use a cartridge and you can only use this standard international cartridge it fits perfectly but it is also the only thing that's going to fit in there and so you can just remove that and it's it goes in quite tight and um, there you go so that's a very interesting mechanism i've never seen this on any other pen before it closes like that and i think it's pretty decent now i do think it's the it's the cartridge that pushes this um mechanism back somewhat so that it, it doesn't align um, properly but now that the cartridge is out it actually it actually looks pretty decent I think it lines up pretty well so we'll just see when we fill this up what it looks like also just on the on the section there is the the big logo over there and interesting it says Tunisia nothing at the bottom no finial there and like I said the cap it's very familiar and you do have a pick on the cap
it's pretty nice actually. Now, the one drawback with the with this filling mechanism, I will tell you now, is that cleaning this pen out if the ink has dried in the section and the feed is a little bit more difficult because it's very hard to get something in there to flush this out. So it's not so easy to clean. And so my what I've learned from this is I, I would prefer to use an ink that cleans uh, quite easily. And so what I am going to use today is good old Parker washable blue. Um, I can already hear people saying, oh, that's a, that's a boring ink to use, but this, it is a lovely ink. It's very reliable. It, it does well in any pen and it is so easy to clean. Um, so this is what we're going to use. So I'm going to ink this up. Um, well, maybe let's, let's do this now. Uh, because I don't have, I have to fold this. Uh, oh, this hasn't been used for a while. I don't know if you can see there. But anyway, let's see. I will have to use a syringe. And um, that's just one of those things. Get that in there. And I have to do this to fill the, um, the cartridge. Squirt the rest of the ink back into the bottle. I'll clean that out later, but let me put that away. And close up the ink so we don't have any accidental spillage. And I didn't fill this up entirely because um, I'm not sure how long I'll be writing with this one, but this is okay for now. And we simply insert it like that. Just want to make sure that it's quite tight and it clicks into place that and then we just push it back and that should be it now it may take a second for the ink to saturate the, the section and the feed get to the nib so I think I will pause here give it a moment and I'll be back in a minute and then we will do the writing sample and for the writing sample today, I'll be using my uh, Rhodia dot pad. Really lovely paper. Let me just get that ink out of the way. And just very nice paper, very reliable and nice to use. And uh, Cosmo is going to just help us grip the, the pad there. All right, so we're ready for a writing sample with this big fountain pen. And we'll uncap it. Um, all right, let's let's have a look. So there's no um, model number or name, you know, that I know about. So I'll just it will just be big. I'll just oh, it's for the writing sample. We'll just call it big fountain pen. And this is a medium nib ink that I'm using. Parker, Parker Queen Washable Blue. Um, This is a very nice, decently wet nib. What is immediately, uh, what I immediately observe about this nib is it has a decent amount of spring to it. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this when I write with it, but now I don't know if I will get line variation out of it, but let's just see. I'm putting a decent amount of pressure on the nib, so it doesn't appear to be line variation, but in terms of the nib, there is it's definitely it definitely has a 
a springy feel to it, a certain amount of bounce. Which is quite pleasant, I must say. It's it's a it feels very comfortable. The nib is very smooth. Um, there's very um, very little feedback. It's just a comfortable amount of feedback. So definitely not scratchy in any way. I think in terms of medium, uh, this is exactly what a medium uh, feels like normally uh, to me anyway. And it writes perfectly well. I mean, will it keep up? I think it will. It definitely seems to keep up. It has no problem with ink flow whatsoever. Let's do a little more writing with it. Can't uh, have a fox when we have a cat right here, right? Yes, well, here we have it. Um, I think this is a lovely pen for a for as cheap as it is. It's certainly quite unique. It's lovely to see a brand like Big that I'm so familiar with, that I've grown up with. It's it's really nice to see them um, doing something different besides the ballpoint pens. So uh, Cosmos complaining. So this is really lovely. I, I love it. It's it's definitely unique. I can see that Big put some thought into the design of this and. Um, it's available in different colors. I, I don't know the whole range, but um, the two that I've seen uh, are quite nice. Um, I think it's definitely, at the price point, it's definitely worth having. The build quality, it's okay. It's not, it's not bad. Um, the only thing I'm not crazy about is that now that I have the cartridge in, I don't have perfect alignment of this part of the barrel right there, but that's not the end of the world. The cap is okay. I mean, the, the, it has a clip. Now, this clip is not, it's not a metal clip. It's a plastic clip, and it's the same as all the other big pens. It's not brilliant. It's probably not going to be all that effective, but at least it's a roll stop. It's going to prevent your pen from rolling off the desk. At, at the least, it will do that. And for what it is, I think it's pretty good. So I would be very interested to hear what you think about this pen. Is this something that, mm, do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts about this. Um, if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon for my next video.